Hello everyone, it's Martika and I am back. Welcome back to my channel Beyond the Beauty. I've been gone for a few days because I've been very busy, but I am back with you. And I just wanted to bring you another tutorial today uh, on another lace front wig that I had gotten from the RockyTrading.com when I ordered a couple of weeks ago. And her name is Spring. Actually, it's Spring 2 and I got her in a 1B. And she doesn't come with any pictures or anything, but she does come in this box, you know, which I explained in my last one that I like a whole lot. And she is by the Champagne Company. Now, I had gotten her for $19.95 when I did order a couple of weeks ago. Since then, she has gone up to, along with the other Champagne wigs, they've gone up to $22.95. So, they upped the price a little bit, but that's okay because it's still a good price for a lace front wig. Um, I have on my nude colored head, ca uh, head cap, sorry, wig cap today and this is actually not a wig cap it is a stocking a knee-high stocking and I <clears throat> basically picked this up because I could not find a nude wig cap that was pretty much the same color as my skin tone and that matched my uh, scalp either they were too light or too dark so I went by Walmart and I pick up picked up this pack of knee highs it's just the legs brand you can pick up any brand for a pair and it is in color suntan I don't know if you can see that that's pretty small yeah suntan and like I said it's four pair and I believe it was like a dollar or two dollars either way it go you might as well calculate it out you get eight wig caps if that's what you're using this for so it saves you a lot of money when you're paying like a dollar for one or two but I'm going to go ahead and get started. And this is Spring. And she's basically a straight layered cut. And she's not very long, but she falls pretty naturally right past the shoulders. And she is very soft. I like her. But the only thing that I was kind of concerned about was the fact that it's really thin. It's not full like most of my other lace front wigs. She does come with three combs in the front. Got some lace. There's really no need for me to have this on, but I need to protect my hair anyway. I could wear a black one. It wouldn't make a lot of difference because there's only like about an inch of parting room up there. So really when you look at it, there's no need to part it when you only have an inch. Uh, she does come with one comb in the back and she also comes with the adjustable straps which of course I have to put mine back on real quick because it just popped off. And as you notice with the knee high, usually I have my clips on the sides here to hold my wig cap on because it always seems to slide back. With the knee high, it fits pretty tight around my head because it's normally for your leg and usually your leg isn't bigger than your head so I did not need to put any clips on there because I didn't have too many problems with this sliding but I'm gonna go ahead and slip this thing on so you can see it as usual I always put my back comb in first and I don't really need to put this middle comb in because I think that the side combs would hold it down pretty well but if I need to use it I will I've already cut the lace off and as I told you with the last uh, lace front tutorial sun, I just cut my lace right above where the hairline starts uh, on the wig. And I mean literally I leave try to leave no room for it. And the easiest way to do that is to cut it on your uh, styrofoam head if you have one because it's easier to see the lace. But this is spring and like I said she's just a layered cut nothing really fancy just a really natural looking hairdo not real long not real full but that's what I like about it because it looks more natural and the hairline is not bad although it still looks like I've been edged up here all I have to do is take my toothbrush and start pulling some out pull some of my hairline hairs out here and even I can even pull some of uh, spring, I was getting ready to say sun, 
pull some of Spring's hair out here and just kind of slick it down to the sides just with the brush you don't necessarily have to use anything if you want to use gel you can but like I said you don't really have to you can just kind of let that hairline hair just fall where it may but you don't want to do too much because then it begins to look too artificial so I just like to kind of take a little bit out and then actually just brush it right back up let's get some of mine out there let me get a little closer so I can show you what I'm doing here just kinda of taking some of my hairline hairs and just brushing them out and just kinda of brush them over to the side and that just gives you a, a little bit more natural effect this fits really good now I've had to adjust this um, wig like three times because the first couple of notches it kept sliding back so I've had to actually take it all the way to the last one what I do notice that although spring and sun is by the same company spring fits a, it's it seems like it's a little bit smaller than what sun was so it's not necessarily the company sometimes it's the wig and the way that it's made but this is her and let me show you the back Like I said, it's really, really a natural look, you know, really layered, layered pretty nice. And, you know, you can take, you can pull some of this hair back and throughout the middle, you can wear it like that. You can put your hump up there, you can flatten it out, you can wear it just like that, or you can just brush it. Just wear it like that, or you can even put, pull it back behind your ears. As you, as you can see, remember I just said that it fits really tight? I don't even have to secure the sides of this wig with bobby pins. Now, I may gel that down a little bit because my little hairline hairs are kind of wavy there. But um, you can wear it behind your ears just like that, you know, kind of bring this forward. Uh, you can even put a headband on with it. Here's one right here happens to be mine my daughter must have had it which it does not surprise me you have teenage girls in your house you probably know that they're always borrowing mama's things but this is what she looks like with the headband really cute I like that actually I think I almost like her better with the headband so give you the side here don't forget I need to kind of slip this down a little bit remember I was telling you I have really long sideburns and I actually cut these off a few days ago and they're coming back already but anyway that is spring and she's a good I, I would suggest that if you're looking for something simple uh, maybe you're just starting out with lace front wigs. This is a good one to start out with. She's a very good practice piece. And for $22.95, you're not wasting any money with That is the end of this tutorial. And I hope you have a blessed day. And don't be afraid to step outside of the box. If you have never tried a straight lace front wig, go ahead and try it. I'm not one that wears them all the time, but it's always good to have one around just to do something different every now and then. So, like I said, don't be afraid to step out of the box. Enjoy your life, and you have a blessed day. Bye-bye.